Chrono Trigger Part 29, still fighting Azala and the Black Tyranno. Uh, just really, you gotta just concentrate. Oh, shit. I meant to hit Azala. Yeah, you gotta concentrate on Azala. Well, I guess I'll be hitting the Black Tyranno here. This, you know, the real battle doesn't begin really until Azala's gone and you gotta fight the Black Tyranno by himself. I suppose what you could do is you could go after the Black Tyranno first, but it would just take forever and. You know, there's really not much point to doing that. Use this opportunity to haste everybody, because that's really, really important. Azal is probably small enough to use rock for a while. Keeping everybody hasted. Very, very important in this battle here. And it didn't really do much damage. Gotta concentrate more on lightning attacks, I think. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. Like, uh, full bite. Except I gotta make sure to hit Azala. Black Tyranno's not that tough. This is like a, you know, a major boss battle, but as long as you have Marl and the Haste spell, it's very easy. The whole thing is that he does this really powerful attack that hits everybody for loads and loads of damage. And really... <laughs> man, Lightning 2 does more than that. Really, um... The trick is to just beat him before he can do it too many times. Kind of similar to the Magus battle, only now we have haste. Black Tyranno can also absorb your hit points, quite a lot of them by doing that, so you gotta watch out for that. Everybody's hasted now. There we go. She just smooched Marl, that lesbo. <laughs> And Marl gives her a clock in return, because Marl is secretly Flava Flav in disguise. She's got mad clocks, boy! Yeah, she's a psychokinesis and just put you all over the place and then drop you. I don't know if she just doesn't drop you over the side, that would make the most sense. So really, Chrono's the only one who's going to do any real damage here. Just everybody else. Keep them on support duty until Azala's gone. And then we're going to fuck up the Black Tyranno. Oh, yeah, that's it. Azala break. It's over. Puts you on the drain status, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, uh, first things first. Heal everybody up. He's going to do like a thing where he uh, gets rid of his defense. So, um, I don't know if it happened yet, because I was paying attention to doing this. So what you want to do is just attack normally, just normal attacks, until you see that you're doing some damage. And that's when you want to unleash with the powerful attacks. If you don't want to do that, I mean, oh, there, yeah, okay. Here we go. I actually want to use a, uh, a midi chrono. This is where you start doing the major damage. Say it's five. That actually counts as an attack, so Chrono might actually hit him back, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Okay, there we go. 919. Ice Toss, like I said, it's like one of the best attacks right now. It is the best attack that I have right now. So you definitely want to use that a lot. It's all about just attacking as many times as you can. It's also an area attack, so it's good on multiple enemies. But I only really use it on bosses, because it's so ridiculously powerful. That's the only time you'd ever really need it. I just have to put Chrono on, like, support mode for right now. There you go, look at that. <laughs> Comes Ice Toss again, motherfucker. I think Ice Toss is better than Ice 2. I mean, Ice 2 hits up the whole screen, but... It doesn't do as much damage as that. I mean, that's just insane. And there's an even better version later on in the game called Glacier Toss, which is pretty friggin' awesome. Oh, yeah, and a critical counter. Here comes Falcon Slash, just for the hell of it. Love that attack. It makes no logical sense, but it's just great. Again, lightning 
to. Look at that. That's some fucking damage, son. He'll probably get to do his ultimate attack once, but I, he'll t he probably won't get to do it twice. That's just not gonna happen. Come on. Because he's coming up on that, like, real soon. But both Krayla and Ayla, Chrono and Ayla need, uh... Magic. To do anything more. They're running out of magic. Oh, yeah. I love the look of that when you use it on a big enemy. Yeah, here comes the big attack now. You know, you're always going to get hit by that at least once, but the uh, the trick is to just not get hit by it again. Now, he's going to put his defense back up, and this is where we use our mid-potions and kiss spells and uh, all sorts, you know, cure spells and just cure everybody up. And just wait for him to... And, you know, this would be a good time to... Use your ethers to get himself some magic. Because we do need that. And uh, we'll wait on him to lower his defense then. Look at that. So just start, you know. At, oh, he's already lowered it. Wow. He's chewing on me. What an asshole. That just does so much damage, too. Actually, no, his defense is still up. It's just I'm doing so much ridiculous amount of damage to him that he's not blocking all of it. Yeah. So I'm just going to attack him normally until he lowers his defense again and starts the countdown. No sense in wasting magic unless you're going to get, like, you know, a lot of damage out of it. He's definitely not going to be able to do that flame shit again. I'll tell you that for sure. That is a definite... Oh, yeah! Critical. Here he goes. He just took this defense off. Okay. Comes lightning, too. That's an attack you never get sick of watching, really. The all awesome ice toss. Marl and Ayla just make such a good team together. They really do. That's it, it's over. It is over. Marl levels up. And that's it. You get a really cool scene here. Zal is just like, Ooh. Does this mean the heavens have chosen you apes? K apes, listen. And pass it on. We dino-men challenged fate to battle and perished proudly. Got it. Huh? Huh? And the red star is falling. Soon the great rock clad in flames will come falling. The red-hot fireball will burn all things to nothing. The scorched earth will laugh, will at length begin to cool, and a long, harsh era will come when everything freezes. <laughs> it is not appropriate. Is it not appropriate that we should be the ones to bring this era to a close? <laughs> Lavos. Huh? And you're now witnessing the actual origin of Lavos. He wasn't created by Magus in the year 600. He came to Earth from space in 65 million BC. And he's been there ever since, biding his time. Okay. I just love this scene. It's great. Great shit here. Ayla's word. La, fire. Vos, big. So Ayla actually came up with the word lavos for big fire. Ayla! Kino! We hurry. Lavos come falling. All right, Terran. Kino, hurry. 
Ayla, what you doing? Come, Azala, come. No, this is what the Earth has decided. Ayla, quick. Azala, I not forget. Future. Future? What about future? No future. And this is why the dinosaurs went extinct. Boom! Oh. Nice. Although you'll actually find dinosaurs in later time periods in, in certain areas. There's a whole area where they're kind of squirreled away. And we're hearing the lovely cry of Lavos for the first time, or at least you're hearing it. I don't hear shit when I record Super NES games, but you're hearing that. <laughs> That's a terrible sound, man. It just makes you think of this horrible creature. Lavos came falling in this era. Lavos, amazing. Chronos have match with that. Chrono, try going place where Lavos fell. It's only just fallen, so we might be able to do something. Let's go find out. Unfortunately, we will not be having a match with Lavos yet. Just go up here to the Tyran Ruins. A gate's formed. Lavos, very fast. Dive deep into Earth. This gate appeared because of Lavos. I'll bet Lavos's power is affecting the other gates, too. What wrong, Chrono? If fight Lavos, go in there, right? Actually, yeah, but I'm gonna change up the party a little bit. Let's bring Robo and Frog into it. Actually, you know what? Let's bring Robo and Luca into it. I haven't used Luca in a while. Let me, let me, actually, before I go shooting off my mouth that I'm gonna use Luca, let me look at this. Okay. Okay, don't want to use Marl. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I'll use those two. So we got a brand new gate, which we're gonna go in now. Let's see where it takes you. It'll actually take you to a time period, but then we'll go, uh,. We'll uh, quickly go back through the same gate to get to uh, the furthest reaches of time. There's no doubting this is the closest gate to Lavos. I don't know where it'll lead, though. My space-time gyro is 12,000 years before the Kingdom Calendar. This is ancient to a terrifying extent. But we just came from 65 millions before the ki years before the Kingdom Calendar. So 12,000 isn't that ancient. But yeah, that's 12,000 BC, but let's go back through it. Get to the, the farthest reaches of time. We'll probably want to fight Specchio again. So we now have two gates. See, you have 12,000 BT Continent of the Earthbound ones. And 65 million BC Tyran Castle Ruins. The other two gates we've already been through, and I'm, I'll, I'll reopen them up again later. But actually, yeah, let, me, let me put Marl back in just for the Specchio battle, because I know I'm going to wind up fighting him. Go in there and see all about that. See, he's now a troll. Oh, it's you guys. Want to test your skill? Yeah. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> I'm excited. I'll probably be able to beat him with that haste spell, doing all the work. We'll see. If not, I'll come back later, but I should be able to take care of him here. Go. Just use your strongest magic or magic esque attacks on him. And, uh. Should be able to take care of him pretty well. There comes lightning. Oh, on Chrono, too. Hopefully, he'll survive that. Nope. Yeah, I might not be winning this, but I figured I'd give it a try. I'll come back later if I don't win it. A few levels later, no big deal. It's not really all that important to fight Specchio. You just get, like, magic tabs and shit from it. I, I, I'm thinking I'm not powerful enough at this point. My magic defense needs to go up. Probably need better armor, too, you know. But, uh, you know. We'll see what happens. I mean, these two really don't stand a chance by themselves. But, uh, yeah. Gonna have to end the video real, real soon. As a matter of fact, I'll end it right here. Um, I'll see you in the next video coming up, hopefully, real soon.